So my friend asked me to be the best man at his wedding. I went to Rome and met a guy. I'm Nick, by the way. Beth. Beth is a cynic and a workaholic and hasn't found anyone that swept her off her feet. I'm a workaholic, so when I date a guy, he thinks I'm not interested, which is weird because guys hate clingy girls, and I am so not clingy. <gasps> Yes. Nick and Beth have the same outlook on life, and neither one of them is really looking for love, but you usually find it when you're not looking for it. That's uh, my bad. She's beautiful, she's smart, or maybe a, a tad superstitious. And I made a wish. I love the idea of how amazing it would be if you actually got a wish that you threw into the fountain. What was I thinking? Now I can't tell if he really likes me or he's just under a spell. Oh, so you're stalking me now? No, I'm just running into you in a premeditated manner. There are some magical forces at work here. She's nervous that he's not really in love with her. You think you're real charming. A little bit? Yeah, well, you are. But she finds she could actually get swept off her feet. Uh, kicking with you. So it's a lot of running in high heels. Hey guys, a bit gentler on the kiss. And then you try to kiss him and be <laughs> gentle about it. <laughs> now I'm kicking with you. You know, it makes for a great love story because it's not only funny, oh. but it's got a lot of heart. And I think it's just a story about opening up. The only spell that I'm under is yours. Oh, you can't ever tell your wish. You can't ever tell your wish. Whatever happens, happens, and it's all okay. Beth. <gasps> oh, no. Oh. It hurts so bad, but it tastes so good. What is that, mint? Uh, it's breath spray.